Hi everybody, it's Eileen from Now There's a Crafty Idea and I am here with um, my oh. December daily. Now I'm doing a bit of a flip through because I've done a few of the days off camera. Um, simply because I just, I just didn't have the chance to catch up. So I'm going to do a flip through and then maybe we'll do another page. Right, so um, you've seen me do the first four pages. I, I have done this, which is the big card. I haven't written on it yet. The big journaling card to go in the cover. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to put on that yet. And I've added these little dangles. Um, they're just little felt stockings that I've, I've sewn. Um, just because I wanted a different type of jang um, dangle and I thought that they go they go nicely with the theme of the book so so that's that one I haven't written the presents down yet because <laughs> the kids are still looking for them <laughs> um, this one I've finished doing all the crafting on it but I haven't done um, any writing on it yet so I'm gonna I've got to write that one out and then that's where I'm putting all my receipts and everything and then this one, I think this is the first one I did by myself. And I just, there was not much happening on the 5th, to be honest. So I've just done a blank page. Um, I've done, I've just used one of the Franken tags and I've stamped an image on the back. And then this is from an Artie Mays kit. And then this is another of the Franken cards. Um, again, I haven't written anything on them yet. Um, there wasn't much happening on the 5th. So I think I might just use that for doodling or I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I wanted to leave those clear. Now this one, I wanted this one to be the page where I'm planning all my edible gifts. So I've, I've started writing down what I'm, I'm doing. And then on the back of this, I've got my recipe for my trail mix. And then on the back of this, I'm going to write my toffee recipe. Um, and then I'm, I've, I've just made a list. It just helps me when I'm doing my... Um, when I'm doing my shopping, you know, to remember what I need to buy. And then another one of the little dangles, which I just, I love them. They're just so cute. And then I had this image. It was out of a children's book and I just loved it. And it just, it's so pretty. And so I've just written about that there. And then I've left a couple of pages. This one, um, I had some... Um, antique papery and she does these lovely little circles but they reminded me of bubbles and bubbles of excitement because on the 7th I just I don't know I just started to get really excited about um, Christmas and then this one is memories of on, on the 8th we uh, we ended up looking through some old um, photographs so I've put a couple of the photographs in here and it's just memories of like times um, when we've been you know past Christmases and past events that we've been to and then I've written a couple of things on these cards here and this is just it's just a little um, paper pocket that I've decorated with some tissue paper I had some beautiful tissue paper that I just used there and then these are actually from the kit um, that I got the the papers from and so I've just popped them in just and this is just this um I, it was a technique that I, I did at work um and it's just the the christmas paper uh, sorry the christmas fabric and you just um iron on some iron on stabilizer and then you can um cut it out to whatever shape you want because it makes so that you can cut fine once you've got the stabilizer on you can cut finer um patterns out so it's just a reindeer cut out and then I just stuck it on some um, Christmas card and I've just written there about one of our little memories um, of past things that we've done at Christmas and then I just love this image here and then this is um, day nine and day nine we did we we, um, we actually sat with some carols um, on the telly for a bit um, we were busy wrapping up a few more presents and so I found this paper and I thought I'm just going to do like a caroling page and then I'm going to write on my favourite carols and everything. And then this one, um, on the um, 10th we actually went up um, um, Durham County, we went up the Weir Valley. Um, to a place um, that we love called Bollyhawk Common and it is there's, there's only like two houses I think near the common and when you turn the car lights off it's pitch black and you can see all of the stars 
and I'm, I mean every single star and so I, I thought this page with this lovely um, starry night with an owl and the lovely starry night over the tops and I love this little guy and I'm, I have this paper and it's actually gold stars on a very dark background so I actually backed the number with that and then I wrote about our stargazing and what we did uh, what we saw we actually saw three shooting stars and and um, the next day chris actually my husband actually found out that it had been a, um a meteor shower and just you know it was just coincidence that we'd managed that we'd happened to go stargazing that night um and also what was funny which i love about this page it all just tied in there's um pine woods um off to the side of the common and um and from the pine woods we heard this lovely little screech owl oh and it was just it was calling 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 so chris knows this trick with his hands i can't do it and it makes a, an owl sound and um he started to call to it and it started to call back i was just it was just one of those magical moments so i've written all about that and and obviously i've got the owl there which just reminds me of that now and then this one, I've told, I think I've told you the story about my Uncle Bob at Christmas. So I just, I was sitting one day and I was, you know, um, I'd been thinking about, um, it was the night before Christmas, which is always like my, my favourite, like Christmas tradition is to sit and read the night before Christmas. I love it. And, um, and it just um, reminded me of that night when, when we went, we snuck downstairs and my Uncle Bob was there with his big black boots on and we, we thought it was Santa Claus and he scared us. So I've actually written out <laughs> for a line through St Nick and put Uncle Bob. And I've actually written, I've written it out in a poem, I'm going to read it to you. It was the night before Christmas and my brother and I were sneaking downstairs to catch Santa before he could fly. We avoided the squeaks of, and the creaks on the floor and eventually made it to the sitting room door. We snuck secretly in, our eyes open wide, to see Santa's black boots resting inside. With a rustle and groaning there came from his head an extremely loud shout of get back to bed. <laughs> With a gasp and a jump we ran as fast as we could, terrified Santa would turn our presents to mud. Eventually morning came and our parents did call. There's a special present waiting down in the hall. We rounded the corner to see a figure so tall and there was Uncle Bob, black boots and all. <laughs> it just reminded me of that and I was just like, this um, image just came to me about that. So I put like a little tuck in and then um, <laughs> just I was just sitting doodling and I came up with a poem and I was like, oh... And then these, I got these off my lovely sister Mandy. Hi Mandy, and thank you very much. Um, she got me this kit and she went to, um, it's like a living museum where they have like, the, you know, they'll create a town um, in a, a particular time period. Um, and they have these replicas and they are great little packs of ephemera. And all the ephemera, there's all sorts of bits in it. All the ephemera is like based on, whatever you know the pack's about and this one was about Christmas Christmas in times gone past and I found this image and it just reminded me so much of the 70s you know 70s Christmas with the chopper bike and th that's when this this memory happened and then here <laughs> there was one of the pieces of ephemera is the Daily Express um, 1973 and it's a TV guide and when I was reading through it oh, I was laughing I was so, it was just so funny and um the goodies and the beanstalk I used to love watching the goodies does anybody remember the goodies they were great and then it's got all of the um the TV that was on on that day and it's it's a night it's nice looking back at these things I mean um let's see what was the Chris Robin Hood was the Christmas pantomime <laughs> and Morecambe and Wise oh my gosh I used to love watching Morecambe and Wise so yeah and that all reminded me so I just I thought I'd pop them in there and I made a little tuck out of the number so that page I just had so much fun with um, and then on this one um, I just I just wanted to do a page about snow i have i've had this and it was cut from the cover of a book 
and I've always loved this image and it just reminds me of cold winter snowy winter walks in the um, in the countryside when we used to go um, and just put you your wellies on and a big coat and you would just like wander through the heaths and the the moors and along the riverside and you know you, by the time you got home you, you, <laughs> your feet were blue your nose was red and you were ready for that hot chocolate so that just reminded me of that um, so I'll put that in there and this paper again reminded me of snow and this little guy looks like he's just come back from a walk in the snow <laughs> and then I just I had some um, craft paper and I, I cut out some little snowflakes um, that needs a little bit more glue actually it's come off and then I had um, a stamp as well that was just snowflakes so I'll pop that um, I pop that on as well just put a little bit of glue on there it's difficult when you've got them going across a page because um, it it's works its way free eventually because of all the, the movement. Um, and then this snowy little house was on a napkin. Again, a napkin that my lovely sister Mandy, thank you very much Mandy, um, gave me. Um, so yeah, and then I found this poem and I loved it and I'll read it out to you. Glimmering lights in powdered white capture the sun and to my delight spun in a swirl never ending dance the beauty of snowfall such a pure romance isn't that gorgeous i just love that so yeah that was my little snow page and then i wanted this to just speak for itself because you know i, I discovered franken paper in this season so you know <laughs> and then this page um this was page 13 and this was when I was taking account of everything that I'd gotten and everything that I needed to get. And I was remembering things that I've still got to buy and to make and to, to sort out. And so I, f I found all these images in some magazines um, and these are book images. And then these tags are from Antique Papery. And I just wanted to use each of the little compartments in the Franken paper as kind of like a little frame. And then in here, I've got the Christmas cake which is just gorgeous isn't that a lovely decoration for a Christmas cake I absolutely adore it and I was thinking about maybe doing mine like that this year so I kept that and it's just again an image from a magazine and then this is from that ephemera pack and it's Hunter Huntley and Palmer's Christmas biscuits so it reminded me because I, I, I was reminded that I have to get some um, a couple of boxes of biscuits in <laughs> And then I added this, which again is just another one of my little fabric, um, um, eh, what's the word for them? I don't know, It's it's lost. I've lost it. And I put it over the page because I wanted it to hang out because I love this, the fabrics and that. Um, and then again on this page, this is um, part of this page, I've just put in a Franken tag and it's going to be where i write the, the rest of me bits and pieces that i need and then i just use again some of the um tags from antique paper oh by the way antique papery on etsy i'll put the link below she has a sale on an end of year sale and she has got some marvelous stuff the the packs the ephemera the kits you know pop yourself over because the sales really good and um and that's where i got these from so yeah that's just one of the packs I put I ended up spending a fortune, you know what I'm like. And then this, I wanted it to stand for itself, Santa's photos, because, you know, we all kind of take photos around Christmas. And I was going to leave this free because I wanted all this to be part of it. And I'm waiting for photos coming back, so I haven't, just, I haven't like, excuse me, I haven't um, decorated this one. So that's the 14th. Um, and I'm going to pop the photos in there. And there he is, Saint Nick in the middle. And then this one I've, um, I just did earlier today and the 15th I started uh, making a list of all of the crafty things that I want to make. Well I've got a couple of weeks off over Christmas because you know it's nice to be able to, um, to sit and do just general craft and I wanted to make a few bits and pieces. So I made one of these little tea folding stars. I mean I think I've done these on the when I did the decorations I did yes there's a video so if you go back into my his history you know you'll find the video that shows you how to make them and I added one of the snowflakes that I cut out and then just a little Santa image and then I've just popped in 
I put one of these on. Um, that will come to me eventually. I will remember what I call them. You're probably screaming at me, and I, I, do you know what? It just eludes me. But I thought that's one of my crafts that I love sitting doing. And there's a Gaila Gostinelli card. I'll, put, I'll pop links below to everybody I've mentioned. And I just backed this with some um, book page and turned it into a pocket. Um, doesn't that make a gorgeous pocket? See, there's like one of my crafts, two of my crafts, three of my crafts. And then I pop this on because um, I've got this lovely, well, it's from an old craft book and these napkins. And I've been meaning for years to make them and I've never gotten round to them. I've got the napkins, I've got the thread. I just never have like sat down and done them. So yeah, I've got the instructions and everything on this card and I'm going to sit and make them this year um, over the, the winter holiday. Um, and, and so that I'll have them fresh for next year. And then I'll just use again another one of my clusters. That's it. Thank you for shouting that at me. One of my fabric clusters for the um, for the number um, 15. And then that brings us to 16. So I thought I might do a quick one here. And this one I've cut out from this lovely book. I've got these, um, they're like carols. They're like some of my favourite songs and poems. Um, and I think that I, I sat, you know, just flipping through some old um, children's Christmas books and I was reading these poems and it just brought back quite a lot of memories. So I thought, you know, I'm going to do a page about that. Right. So, and this one is um, In the Bleak Midwinter. Now, it's not exactly a, a fantastically cheery song, but to be honest, it's, it's got a special memory for me because... Um, Many, many moons ago, um, my husband's step granddad, Joe, who was honestly, he was um, he was a wonderful person. You know, when you hear someone say an angel that walks the earth, that was Joe. He was a lovely, lovely person. And um, and I, I loved it to pieces. And he, everywhere he went, he would whistle. He would whistle everywhere. You knew when Joe was coming because you would hear him whistling before he got there. And um, and anyway, this one day I'd been feeling really low and it was coming up to Christmas. And um, I don't generally whistle. It's it's not something that I do because one, I can't do it very well. And two, um, I just, I don't know, I just, I loved to listen to Joe whistle, but I'm not a fan of whistling. But um, anyway, this one day, uh, like I said, I'd been feeling really low. It was coming up to the holidays and I was trying to find the Christmas spirit. And I just, you know, I was missing people who had passed and that. And just out of the, out of the blue, I started to whistle. And I whistled this song. I don't know where it came from. I really don't. And do you know, I don't know if it was my subconscious or if it was a message or whatever you want to believe it was just I whistled this song and I could not identify it and I've no doubt that at some point I've um I've heard it or you know sang it but I couldn't remember it anyway and it wasn't until my husband got home and I, I whistled the tune to him and he says that's in the bleak midwinter and I went I don't even know that song and I whistled the whole thing all the way through <laughs> And it was just one of those moments, it just so reminded me of Joe and it just bolstered my spirits so much. Um, and I just thought, you know, if you want to believe in, you know, not well, not ghosts, but messages from those who have passed and who we love. I don't know. You know, some people don't believe in it. Some people do. I'm still on the fence. I don't know. But I do know that that day. I did something that was so out of character for me that it was unbelievable and it so cheered me up and made me feel so much better and you know it just it really turned things around that year so yeah so I just made a little pocket with these this is again another book image and I just love the idea of the carolers like standing there singing and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the carol on here now this is a um it's a tag out of, oh, I can't remember the name of the pack, but it's Artie Mays. And I just love this paper. I've, I've managed to damage it somehow. 
<laughs> I've dropped something on it. So I've cut out that song in the bleak midwinter and I'm going to put the, the first bit on the front and then I'll put the rest on the back because there's just not enough room. So I want to, um, first of all, let's get this distressed and then I can decide. So yeah, so this, this song has a special meaning. It was around about this time of year when, when that actually happened. So it just, you know, it's a nice special uh, memory and um, something that I just wanted to remember in this journal. And isn't that what journals are about? <laughs> Especially in a year when there's not much happening <laughs> in the way of, of um, festivities because, you know, it was sad. I went. Um, I don't very often go into the city, but I, I had to go into the city um, the other day. And um, the the big in the the shopping centre, we've got like a, a, a big like gallery, a shopping centre type thing in the middle of the city. And normally every year, there's a big um, Santa's hut with a big Santa's throne, and you know the elves and Santa, and it's packed every year. It's packed and it was just so sad that it just wasn't there this year it just you know they can't do it it's covid i know it's it can't be done but it just i don't know that kind of completes all the decorations so it it looks a little bit i don't know lonely pathetic without the big santa's hut and i guess it just you don't realize how much these things um bring cheer to your heart until they're not there so that was a bit sad but we did see um a bus and it was all lit up um with it was a um a one of those open top deckers and it was all lit up with um fairy lights and decorations and everything and there was santa sitting on top going around the streets seeing the kids so that was good that was i loved that it was so sweet and the kids so the kids still got to see Santa even if they can't go and sit on his knee <laughs> they still got to see him I want to use this image this is again from the book I think if I just pop that there and then that there and I might just leave that quite simplistic because you know it's it's nice I, I kind of like that it is quite simplistic and then what I might do is I might add on one of these um, snippets to the top. Now I might have to look for a smaller one. Have a look in my little bag of snippets. Clusters even. <laughs> do you know I don't know why I'm struggling with that at the minute? And that would just add a little bit of colour to the tag wouldn't it? Because I don't want to do too much to it. Let's have a look at at that one. I do like that one but let's have a look and see what this one looks like. Too much red, it needs green and if I put that round that way, yeah I think I'll use that one. Okay. As you can see I've been busy. I've been <laughs> sitting in front, this is only one bag, I've got another two bags. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just little bits of fabric that I normally would have just um, gotten rid of but hey ho if you can find a use for it so yeah I think if I just pop that there and then that can go over there do you know when you just want something else just a little something else I'm just going to have a quick look for a little bit of if I can find some music because I think that will just that would really just frame it and I bet you I can't find any right I'm going to have to find a book two seconds um, I've got some hopefully not too far away <laughs> um, 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 um. right I think that's probably a little bit big but oh there you go we'll use that page this is a very old book so <laughs> the pages just tear so easily is that one page it is right okay see how delicate that is really delicate you've got to be very careful 
Right. I think if I just take that edge down. There we go. And then I think. Oh yeah, I prefer that. That's nice. I like that. Let's get a little bit of ink on there. I'm going to have to be very careful with it because it's just falling apart in me hands. <laughs> oh dear me. These, I love saving these old books, but sometimes they're just right on the edge of not being able to be saved. I have got a big pile of books that I want to scan um, because they're very, very old and they are very, very beautiful, but they are very, very delicate. And I do want to get them, um, get them scanned so that they're not lost. See, that's just come apart on the page. Right. I think if we put that about there, maybe if I move this out so we can see what we're doing. <laughs> because I'm a bit clustered. Right, where's my card? Very gentle. Let's see now, there you go. As much as it's delicate, now that's going to be preserved. So if we put that about there, but we want that one on first. Okay, right. Get a new piece of paper. I need some new glue books. I'm going to have to like sort out some glue books because I'm, I'm using my pokey book at the minute and that's not good. <laughs> When I say pokey book, I mean it's the one that I use when I'm putting books together. <laughs> I don't just sit and park the book. <laughs> right. Isn't that a beautiful image? I mean, no, that was in a children's um, book that was going to go in the rubbish bin. Um, and somebody, thankfully, sent it to... Um, it's a, a book recycling place and they had it and it had been there for three years and it was it was damaged um and but nobody wanted it so i thought you know what let's give you a new lease of life right there we go now that still looks quite plain but that's okay because I want the dr the drama to come from there and then that's going to look really pretty but first of all I just want to pop this on the back and I'm not putting anything else on the back I just want that because it's just the words of the um of the song what's your favorite Christmas hymn that you like to sing pop a um, comment down below and tell me what it is because I love um, I do love um, Christmas carols I mean I've got you know I think from being a kid probably my favorite was Silent Night I love that one and I was listening to um, some old Christmas you know Christmas oldies um, channel and it was like Dean Martin and Bing Crosby and Nat King Cole and a whole host of others and that one came on and I was just oh just heaven just sitting listening to such a beautiful song sung with such beautiful voice you know amazing um but yeah drop me a comment and tell me what's your favorite carol I'll catch myself humming them all the time <laughs> when I'm in the kitchen you know especially if I'm doing like cooking for Christmas I'm just sit, stood there humming away and I'm not even realizing that I'm humming <laughs> Chris will come in and say you have just been humming all afternoon <laughs> there we go I like that that's cute and that's just such a cute memory and it just reminds me oh granddad Joe bless his soul and the page I'm putting it on I didn't want to cover up this reindeer image that I did with the tea dyeing so it's kind of still there and it's you know if I want to see it I can just open it and to go with that I'm just going to move a few things 
this image came from the children's book as well and the, it just that reminded me of the song in the bleak midwinter just because it does look like a bleak midwinter doesn't it freezing cold <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna pop this on and that'll be part of that i don't know what i'm gonna do with the number yet i haven't decided i might pop it on the other page i don't know we'll put that to the side while i, I figure it out and then just get these bits of fluff off and i think i don't know whether to stick it on as a pocket because it might look quite nice as a pocket yeah let's do that let's pop it on as a pocket where's me me glue so yeah we've um <laughs> we've been kept in like i think it's tier three yeah tier three so i think nearly the whole country's in tier three now um but i was shocked to see that germany's struggling again um but yeah you know what oh uh, something really really good happened this morning um i absolutely adore sir ian mckellen I mean adore adore him um is an amazing person and one of my favorite actors and um he um he went to get the vaccine today <laughs> he's 91 years old and he went and got the vaccine today and you know there's been a lot on the um the news people not trusting it people not wanting to do it well you know if Sir Ian McKellen can do it, then so can I. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was so cute. He's such a lovely person. He really is. And um, yeah, I'm just glad that he went and got it because 91 years old and bless him, he's still working, still, still the the absolute amazing star that he's always been. <laughs> I think him and Patrick Stewart have to be my favourites. <laughs> they just have this wonderful bromance going on. Isn't it great? There we go. Right, now, I could put a little tag in there. Let's see, what do we want? I'm trying to think what I've got to hand. Let's have a little look. I'm just going to grab me tags. So I've got quite a few. That's a pocket, not a tag. They're pockets. Maybe one of these ones. Um, so there's those ones. I don't want a really big one because it's only a small pocket. Okay, let's have a look at this. That's too big. And so that's going to be too big. We could put that one in. Let's see if we can get it in. No, I don't like it. The colour's wrong. So that leaves us with this nice colour here. And I do like that. I like the colours because it matches the colours on here. And I think that needs a little cluster. So how about that one I was going to put on? And then that's going to stick out and be another point of interest when the book's closed you're going to be out there yeah i like that okay and um oh should i put the number on there and then it'd be a little hidden number that would be fun wouldn't it a little hidden number yes i like that idea and maybe a little bit of music let's get some of that music and let's just see there we go yeah okay let's um corner rounder i'm gonna round the corners and i'm gonna use the big corner there we go okay well now that was a happy thought <laughs> that just came to me in a flash was somebody shouting that out because i heard you if you were shouting it i heard you <laughs> 
Yeah, I haven't done any hidden numbers yet, so this is my first hidden number. There you go. You've got to search the page out and be interactive with it to find out what day it is. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. <laughs> you can just look at the pages either side of it. <laughs> oh, don't stick to the page. Don't stick to the page. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, where's me card? There we go. Now, let's just get a little bit of extra round here. So I want it to have lots on. It just doesn't look like it's been... There we go, that's better. A bit more there, that's better. Right. Now, I'll just use the um, glue stick because I think that should be all right. It's not very thick card, so normally I wouldn't. There we go. Is that straight? That is. There we go. Now let's just go a little bit of fabric tack on here. Where's the lid off that? I've been terrible, honestly. I've been absolutely terrible at not putting the um, the lid back on my glue. And um, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's going to end up drying out <laughs> if I'm not careful. And you know I've been having problems with the fabric tack anyway. <laughs> but me other glues as well, me, me glue sticks. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Got some glue strings. Right, let's get you right on the edge. There we go. And then that can sit nicely in there. There we go. Lovely. I like that page. I think that's done. That's perfect. And then, oh yes, that was the other thing that I had. It was this um, Silent Night. Well, I've just told you, haven't I, that Silent Night was my favourite. So yeah, I'm going to pop this on this page, on this side. Because, you know, why not? It's my favourite. I love it. And it's nice to have the words, isn't it? Because <laughs> half the time I just hum the tune and I don't know what the words are. <laughs> I never did pay attention when we used to do them in assembly. <laughs> I was always busy looking for mischief. <laughs> I know, shocker, me, mischief. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> So I've got to go out probably after I've done this video because I need to get all of the last bits in um, apart from my veg which I'll get next week but I've got, <laughs> I've got stuff um, hidden everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to just leave that pattern because that's quite a nice pattern and it's going to hang out over the bottom of the, the page. But that's okay because I kind of like that just just a little pattern um yeah so <laughs> I've been buying bits in every week which normally I would just do one big shop um but you know this shirt is <laughs> everything's different isn't it so I've been buying bits in every week I've been going for the groceries and I've been buying stuff and I've been hiding it because you know I live in a house with five adults and every single one of them is a gannet if they know it's in, then they've got to have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, when it comes to biscuits, it, it, it's impossible to keep biscuits in my house. You know, it's just... So, I've been buying stuff and hiding it all over the house. <laughs> the problem now is that I've got to try and remember where I've hidden it all. <laughs> because half of it, I'm like, oh, where, where did I put the crackers? I can't... Um... <laughs> It's going to be a fun Christmas hunt <laughs> for the food. <laughs> right, so there's that's the 16th. So we've got the number 16 there. And that's all about that lovely memory of mine. Um, and lovely, my favourite songs. And okay, I'm going to leave that blank. And we're on to this one, page 17. Do we have time for page 17? And then I think I'm caught up. 
almost I'm going to have to get a clip for there. Um, right, it's, look how chunky it's getting. I mean, <laughs> oh, I did find um, a chain that I was thinking that I might, I've got it all stuck up. I might use as a fastener because I was thinking, I've never done a chain fastener before. Um, I've never never done a chain fastener, but this one, it reminded me of baubles on a Christmas tree. And isn't that cute? It's lovely. It's actually, and you won't believe this, it's actually from an antique belly dancer's belt. Um, and it was all falling apart and I, I got it given from a friend because she knew I, I like little charms and things. And um, yeah, so I thought I might find a way of popping that on. I'm not sure how yet, but I was thinking, oh, is that going to be too big? But now I'm thinking, is it going to be big enough? <laughs> so we'll see anyway. Um, right, back to where we were. Now, hiya. Hi. Thank you. Is that the back door key? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Right. That's my daughter's just off to work there. <laughs> okay, so this one I've got this um, flip out on this side and I wanted to make that into a pocket. And I, you know what? Um, when I was a kid, one of my favourite things, you would get your annual book, right? You would get the um, girls annual or the bunty or, you know, something like that. Um, and they would have different things in and then you would sometimes get the ones that had these little paper dolls in. And I have got to say, I absolutely love these little paper dolls. Now, depending on, you know, what country you're in or your traditions or how old you are, I suppose, you might not remember these or you might remember them or you might never have seen them. But this was one of my favourite things to have these lovely little dolls. That you could dress in different outfits and you could take that one off and see how she's got a, a little nighty on and then let's find another one for her and then you would just pop that on and then you can fold the little tabs over and that keeps it in place isn't that cute so i've got mrs and mr santa claus <laughs> um and i just think they're cute and these were free um they were free on pinterest and i would tell you the name of the site i got it from but i can't remember and to be honest with you there's so many sites that, that have got these same images um i wouldn't know how to find the original um creator so if you know who the original creator is please do drop a, um, a comment down below and let me know because i absolutely adore these things and i would like to give them um credit for such a gorgeous little thing so i've got these and i absolutely you know it just brings back so many memories of when i was a kid and one of the things i used to love playing with was these lovely little dolls and you know i guess it's in this high-tech high world people probably look at it and think what <laughs> but yeah that used to be one of my favorite things to do on christmas day i would sit and put all the different claws on them and we would do you know, if you had the theatre, you would you would have them on a little stick and you would do a little play with them in that. Or is that just me? <laughs> so I'm going to make this into a pocket. But before I do that, I want to add something. And let's have a look. Let's see. I kind of like the idea of the white with the red. And, that, and I think that'll look really pretty. So let's see. Let's have a look at that yeah I think that'll look really pretty so I want to cut it about about there doesn't matter if it's hanging over a bit I've just dropped the other piece of lace off there I'm gonna to have to wind that back on now where did I put the pin okay right let's move them i'm just going to move these out of the way while i decorate this and i want it to kind of so it's going to poke over the the pocket but that's fine and i think that'll look really nice there okay so let's get some fabric tack on but first of all i think we need to glue our pocket down 
so we'll just quickly do that and I think I'm going to make this into two pockets and then I can have Mrs Claus in one and Santa Claus in the other and then I'm not going to get them all jumbled up because at the minute they're all jumbled up so let's give that a nice press down so Fabri-Tac <laughs> bane of my life <laughs> I love this stuff but it just does not love me um yeah so I've, I've now not only got to remember the bits that I've got to still buy I've got to try and remember where I hid all the stuff that I've already got <laughs> I did this one Halloween you know <laughs> um, I, there was a sale on the Haribo sweets um, and I got two massive bags of Haribo sweets and um, put them away for the Halloween thinking you know that's going to save us loads of money and we're going to be able to, to give out loads of sweets for the kids and um, and I found them in the December <laughs> when I was hiding Christmas food <laughs> so I totally forgot about them luckily they were still in date and we had them for Christmas <laughs> But yeah <laughs> oh my word I'm gonna have to try and you know what I should just get a, a one cupboard in the house and put a lock on it and then they can't go in and, and pinch all the Christmas food <laughs> I'm just as bad mind when I'm sitting on a night and I know there's like if, if I've put chocolates in one of the cupboards I'm like oh I could just maybe see if I just went and got one of them chocolates <laughs> So yeah, the, the thing of it is, actually, we shouldn't really be buying the stuff early because you just end up buying it twice, don't you? Because you buy it early and then you eat it and then you've got to buy it again. I don't want to lose his hat so I'm going to shove that down in that pocket. Right now, his outfits are those. Aren't they lovely little outfits? That's when he's in his workshop and that's when he's going out visiting during the year and that's his, his nice night dress. <laughs> Yay! I oh, know I'm a child <laughs> and then she's got a little cooking outfit and then she's a, a through the year visiting outfit and then a, a lovely little Christmas angel outfit isn't that lovely and there they are just poking out of there and I think I've got a little image oh she's the wrong way because wouldn't she look lovely just actually no yeah I should be all right there I was going to put her on the page there but I think she'll look okay there okay let's do that And then that'll remind me again of the old traditions that we used to do. And you will, you, you know, you can guarantee on Christmas morning I'm going to be playing with my little paper dolls. <laughs> because hey, why not? You're never too old to be a child. That's my motto. That's what I believe. It's what keeps you young there we go i love that right and that is quite plank i'm just trying to think if i've got anything else i want to put on there i don't want to complicate it too much because i want that to kind of be about the paper dolls and not about the decoration so you know what i might just leave it like that just put in and pick up all the bits of stuff um and i've got to put this on so Maybe we could use a snippet and we can pop it over here and then that's going to add a little bit more colour. A snippet, not a snippet, a cluster. <laughs> that's a nice tall one. Got little bits all over it. Doesn't have a lot of sewing on. It's not big enough. Not big enough. I don't think I've got any really big ones, that's the thing. There's that one. Nope. Um. What about this one? Right, I'm liking that, I'm liking it. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Okay, again, I'm going to just round the corners. 
Just because you know me, I've got to think about rounding corners. <laughs> it's my thing. <laughs> I am not looking forward to the shops to be honest with you. They've just been absolutely terrible. I thought things would have quietened down by now, you know, with everybody not wanting to be out at this time of year, but now it just seems to be getting worse and worse. <laughs> oh dear. It's a pity because, you know, it should be a lovely joyous thing to, to go and do your Christmas shopping, even the food shopping, but <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I don't like shopping at the best of times, so <laughs> I could gladly do without it. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Don't put it the wrong way. Okay. And then we'll just get this one stuck on. Come on, Fabri Tack, don't give up on me now. sure I got plenty on. Right. I found that it is easier when, when I leave the heating on. You know, I was saying in a previous video that I thought that it was the cold that was causing the fabric tack to, to be a problem. Well, I adjusted the heating so that it's on more um, and it actually just seemed to be working better. So yeah, oh, I like that. That's That's really nice. And that just finishes that page off nicely and I like the fact that it's quite plain because it's about the dolls there we go okay now what's our next page 18 okay what were we gonna do oh the gnomes I wanted to do a page of gnomes there we go we can do them on here okay and then I think I'm just gonna check oh yeah, that's today. And this video should be going out today or tomorrow. But yeah, the 18th, we're all caught up. Isn't that great? Now, this is from a napkin that my dear sister got me. Thanks, Mand, again. <laughs> she bought me another little um, parcel over and it had these napkins in. And it had the, the little um, bag of um, ephemera. And I just, these are the images from one of the... The napkins and I just I've got a thing about gnomes I just love gnomes and I love this image that I was going to put on the front of this book but I ended up not um so yeah I thought we'll do something with that so I'm not sure what I, how I want to put this on but I want the gnomes I might put them actually just dot them about and just like yeah have just a little page of, of gnomes dotted about I mean, it should work fine with the glue on the Franken page. Let's just see. Try and find them all in a little place. Oh, they're going to look so cute. And then there's a lo lovely couple of cats. I might. What I could do is, unless I do that as like a flip, hmm, maybe. Or I might just back that with some card and make that into a little tuck. And then if I can find some of the gnome ephemera to pop in my book at some point. That's what I'm, I think I'm going to do. Right, I'm just going to get some card. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Let's think, where's all my card gone? I'm actually going to look for a nice piece of paper. Now this is a um, book and it's called uh, Merry Little Christmas and it was on sale in the range. It's first edition papers and there are some lovely papers in here, I've got to say. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've been um, dying to use it up but, you know, I don't want to use it and then have none for next year. <laughs> I wonder if that might look quite nice. Let's have a look and see. No, no, I'm not liking it. Uh, no, I'm not doing the, the lighter. How about that? Nope, wrong. I 
I don't like that one so much. Now that would go nice with the picture. And I think even though it's gonna be, it's gonna stand right out on that red page. I don't mind so much, you know. I don't mind about a little bit of a clash. Let's, um, let's go it out and have a look and see. So if we pop that on there, it, yeah, it's gonna be a spectacular clash. But I actually quite like that. I do. You know what? I do like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my. Don't start singing Eileen. <laughs> Let's fall in love. Oh no. It's happening. Press mute now before it gets any worse. <laughs> Oh, I love those old songs though, aren't they great? You know, I watch Poirot, Poirot's got to be one of my favourite things to watch. And um, and they have them like, you know, you hear them all in there and it's just so, they're just so good. Noel Coward I think was, uh, was the one who sang that. Yep. I mean way, way, way back in the day. But yeah, they, they are nice. Right, I'm going to get... I'm going to have to get the big cutter out, so let's move some things out. Oops, a daisy. I'm just going to wreck everything for a minute. Put the glue, the top back on the glue, before I end up sticking myself together. <laughs> right. And this should make a nice little pop. I don't need you, so I'll pop you out the way. Sometimes clashing colours can look good together depending on what you're doing, you know, what it is that you're making. I mean, I know there's been quite a few times when I've put stuff together and you think, oh no, that's just, but then when you do it, it looks okay. See, that's going to make a nice little tuck there. And I like the darkness because it brings out a bit of the drama. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's get this glued on. And then if I find things to tuck in, that'll be a bonus. I'm hoping that I get a couple of, um, well, we're not having Christmas um, cards this year because, you know, we've been asked not to send Christmas cards, um, which, you know, I can quite understand COVID and everything. But um, I was hoping that I might just get one with a gnome on because <laughs> gnomes are my favourite thing. But we've been told that if you do get them pop them aside for um just for the 72 hours i think it is and then open them so yeah hopefully i'll i'll be able to do that right let's get these guys on now i'm just going to have to glue straight onto the page about where i want them and then i'll have to leave that page open to dry Just hope that I get every bit. Oh, don't they look great? Needs a bit more there. And then I think what I can do is, if I can find, there they are, baby wipes. These are just so useful for everything, aren't they? There we go, right. There's one on. I think we'll put a little cat on there. We could have him kind of, no, we don't want him there. Let's see, maybe he could stay like just there. And you can kind of, if I tear that bit off, which is just his footprints in the snow, so it doesn't really matter. And he can go there. Yeah. Now, let's see. We want this one here because he's lighting the the candles on the tree. Where's my glue gone? Where have I put it? There it is. 
and then I think we're all caught up and we'll do another one tomorrow. Yeah, I've gone way off for that one. <laughs> you know, Gail manages to do this, Gail Agostinelli manages to do this and make it look so easy. And then bits not working and bits not stuck down and let's just get the last bits of glue off there. There we go. But they do look cute, don't they? Isn't this a lovely little napkin? It's great. Oh, excuse my stomach. I think I'm going to have to um, grab something to eat before I go out. You forget though, don't you? When you're crafting, if you're like me, you forget that like life happens around you. <laughs> And then I can go all day and then I suddenly realise that I've been crafting for so long I've forgotten to eat and I need to move him down just a touch. And then I'm like suddenly starving and I'm like, well, why am I starving? And then I'm like, because I haven't eaten today because I've been so busy crafting. <laughs> I've just forgotten to eat. <laughs> am I the only one that that happens to? <laughs> Do you know what? I've missed you all so much. And thank you for the kind comments everybody's been given since I've come back. It's so nice to know that you are still there and still wanting to watch. Oh, they look so cute. I think we'll put a little kitty cat. Let's see. Should we get him there? We'll pop him there. Yeah, it's, it's it really gives me a boost to know that you are still there, still watching. And I love it. Thank you so much. Especially this year, you know, it's nice to know that we've got this lovely little community going on um, in such a terrible year. <laughs> um, and it's been so, so nice being able to do this channel and uh, have so many blessings come from it. P meeting people that I wouldn't normally have met and getting all these lovely subscribers and talking to people. And even if sometimes it is a one way conversation you know it's nice because I know you're there you leave your comments to let me know that you're watching and that you're listening and that just means so much I mean so much it's a little crease but I can forgive that <sighs> the little crease isn't gonna hurt him let's put that down but yeah it's been a blessing. It's definitely this channel has definitely been a blessing in my life, <clears throat> and it's helped to keep me sane. So thank you to everybody. I love you all, <laughs> and I know people say that and they don't really mean it, but I do genuinely mean it. I'm going to leave that kitty cat off because I want to put the number up there, and I think. I'll leave this one just as it is without rounding the corners and then we'll just stick a little bit of should I put something underneath it or should I just put it on no it needs a little something doesn't it a little delicate something mm. and I can't make my mind up what that is oh actually we've got this so how about I put that on there it just needs cutting down just a little bit. I'll cut it from this side because I don't want to lose that merry. And there's another snippet that we can use for something else. And I'm just going to pull a few threads. I love this um, Hessian stuff because it's just, it's so great for this kind of thing. Yeah, and then that'll be lovely. And then there's my gnome page because I absolutely adore gnomes. And uh, I'm going to make a few actually. It's on my little craft list to do, to make some gnomes. Because I've, I've made loads in the past, but because I used to do the craft fairs, I've sold them all. <laughs> so I've, ne I've, I've always made these lovely things and very rarely keep them for myself. And that's, that's another thing that happens when you're a crafter, because you get a list of things to, to make. 
<laughs> for people and you, you make them and you think oh I want one of them but then you never get around to making your own do you because <laughs> you've got something else to make for somebody else I was, I was laughing because uh, my dad's took up crochet and um, he's making this absolutely stunning blanket I mean oh my word it's beautiful I mean how he's followed the pattern I'll never know because I can't follow those patterns where I was like, um, Dad, and he was like, oh, don't tell us you want one as well. I was like, how many are you making? He says, I've already got an order for six. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> he knows what it's like. Right, so that's that's it. That's the 18th. We're all caught up. And one thing I forgot to show you was I've made a writing board for this book because, you know, it's chunky, it's textural, and I can't write in it. So this is my writing board, and I just used some thick card. Um... And then I put one of the lovely papers on and um, a Santa face, because why not? And then on the other side, it's this gorgeous, um, it was out of that book that I've been using, um, this gorgeous picture of the um, partridge in the pear tree with a little cat trying to get it. <laughs> um, and that's my writing surface. And it's, it's worked out great, so I've just had that chucked in the back. I was going to make it so that I could tuck it into the pocket, but then I wanted it to be big enough to write on. So it's just slightly too big for the pocket. So there we are, we're on the 18th and oh, I'm getting excited. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it's been fun crafting with you and sharing me stories. And we've done, we've done three pages. Wow. Okay. And tomorrow we'll do page 19 and I'll tell you all about my endeavours in the shops <laughs> but there you can see all the little bits of texture that's coming out and there's our little things that we've been putting in and I love these little danglies they're absolutely gorgeous and so easy to make so yeah I hope you've enjoyed that this is a long video I'm aware it's a long video thank you for sticking with it if you're still here and um, thank you so much to everybody and thank you for everything you've you've done this year for me um, yeah it's been a real pleasure and I will see you tomorrow and we'll do the next page of our journal. So stay safe and happy crafting. <laughs>